Hey everyone, I'm Sebastian, one of the developers for Fire Maneuver, and I'm very excited to talk about this week's update for Pre-Alpha 1.5. This update is currently live right now on Steam, and you can gain access by supporting us on Patreon. The game and our Patreon can be found in links below. Now, in the current version of Fire Maneuver, if you go into Multiplayer Custom Battle, and you log in and you join a room, you will be presented with the Animal Avatar Selection Screen. As we continue through Early Access, you'll notice that each faction is represented through their own unique animal. To kick it off, we have the Prussian Eagle wearing that glorious pickle hava. Next, we have France with the French Rooster. And as you can see, the French Rooster does have its own unique animation. We really wanted to give each animal its own personality, and so you will see different and unique animations for each animal. This is still currently a work in progress, and there will be more and more features added throughout the weeks. But we really wanted to strive, and this was important for us, to have a unique faction selection screen. We wanted to go for a different approach compared to other strategy games when it came to selecting your faction, in a visual style that we hope is more appealing to the player. And an important note is that you will not be able to use these animals in combat. These are meant to be your avatars, so you won't be able to fly in your Prussian Eagle, or ride on your French Rooster, or throw your British Lion to attack those infantry guards or break that artillery. This is more of your personal avatar that you will be able to customize, more on that later, and see before the battle begins or when the battle ends on that victory screen, because you're a winner in my book. Here's a preview of the battle customization window. This is the window that you'll see before you enter battle. And just to note that this is still being worked on and we will see in a future update, not in this week's update. For a quick overview, as this will be discussed in a future devlog, this is meant to be where you will see your player avatar, where you can select your units, you can set the map settings, see the players that will be in the match, as well as the chat window. If you're a big fan of 1960s animations, or you love those Victorian era jingoistic newspaper comics, you may have noticed the references and influences that we use for the animals in the avatar system. This animation in particular is from the 1968 Charge of the Light Brigade, which as you can see was a huge influence in our animals. You can note the inspiration on the French Rooster, the British Lion, and as we'll see in a future update, the Russian Bear. In the current update, Britain is locked right now. And if you see here, there are two more that are locked, but more will be included during Early Access and after Early Access, such as the Ottomans, the Russians, the Austrians, and Italy. And so compared to our last version, you and your opponent may both select the same faction, such as France, and as the Discord community calls it, have the French Civil War. The Discord community has had a large part in the animals that we selected for the final game, and so if you want to be part of the conversation, look to the link below to join our official Fire and Maneuver Discord. Also in a future update, you will be able to unlock different types of uniform to customize your faction or you can choose no uniform at all. These unique customizations will be present in the battle customization menu where you can see your own faction as well as your enemy faction and teammates. Also included are new features to the gameplay, such as health and cohesion have been added to the unit cards. Now if we zoom into the battlefield, we'll see a new selection visual on the units. This is just a temporary visual that will be updated later on. And don't forget that you can select your units using the unit cards. The last visual update we'll see are the new French vibrant colors that are shown in the infantry. Aside from the visuals, another feature added in the custom map settings is the ability to select how many guard units and line infantry you want in the match. There is still a current max of 12 units but it will lead to some interesting battles depending on how you set up your match. That's it for this week's update, but I did want to go over a preview of what we'll see in future updates. Here is the damage preview system. As shown, if I attack this unit, they will lose one bar of cohesion because my unit is set to the formation attack column. If I were to change it to line and I set it to attack, we should see that the enemy player would lose two bars of cohesion instead of the one. The final update we'll be discussing are the options, which will be included in a future update. 
This will allow you to change the volume on the music, the sound effects, as well as some post-processing settings. So if you're really jamming to that French theme, you can now pump it up to the max. Thank you so much for watching this devlog, and I also wanted to thank the community for all the support they've been giving throughout this development. And on Discord news, I wanted to congratulate Averick for being the longest holder of the Golden Pickle Haba this week, and Boris for being the current holder of the Golden Pickle Haba. The Golden Pickle Haba is a unique role in our Discord for the official Fire and Maneuver server. This role is reserved for the cream of the crop, the best of the best of Fire and Maneuver. Now you may be thinking to yourself, how do I earn this Golden Pickle Haba? This is all I wanted my whole life. Well, the only way to do so is to challenge the owner on a one-on-one -on -one battle. And once you win, you are now the owner and may get a shout out in the next week devlog. But if you do hold on to it for a week and you do not accept any challenges, then you will lose that Golden Pickle Haba. For next week's update, we have our project lead developer, Aaron, that will be discussing all the new features. Stay tuned, and don't forget to fire that like button and maneuver your finger over that subscribe button. That's it for now, and we'll see you in the next one.